Stu Douglas is averaging eight and a half points a game, which is the best per game average of his career. Somewhat ironic given the fact that Douglas, who started 46 games in his freshman and sophomore years, has started just once this year. He's now this team's sixth man, a role that Junior has learned to embrace and use to his advantage. Sitting on the bench, it, it helps just to see how teams start off defensively, and more so than anything, how they're, you know, they're taking away certain things in an offensive end, and I can come in and kind of adjust and um, just run the offense the way we need it to be ran to kind of uh, you know, help out with the rest of the half. Douglas also has been forced into a leadership role on a team with no seniors. Douglas and his roommate, Zach Novak, are de facto seniors and thus have been forced to grow up quickly and lead a very young group. I was talking to Zach last night after the game, and I didn't even realize Penn State was starting four seniors. Um, and just the experience they had up until, you know, just before the game started. And to look at ours, and you know, starting lineup, they're saying freshman, 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 sophomore, junior. Um, you know, it's exciting. I'm you know, excited for it. You know, you say excited for next year, but I think we have a, a real good chance of just, you know, with, Zach, with the experience we have with Darius and Zach and myself, and just do a lot of good things. And what has been this grizzled vet's point of emphasis to the Baby Blues? I mean, guys have tough games, and you know it's hard to, like I said, it's hard. It was hard to swallow the Purdue loss, but um, you know me, Zach, and Darius, you know, knowing that you know we faced that type of adversity and faced a tough season like we did last year, just knowing that the key is, you know, bouncing back as quickly and as quickly as possible, really, and just getting back to you know Michigan basketball. You know, you can't worry about the last game. You just got to keep improving um, on what we've tried to establish. Off the court, Douglas is known to have arguably the best fashion sense of any of the Wolverines and he doesn't mind expressing who perhaps might need some help. I'm not going to try and call anybody out but I will say that Horford, Horford has his own kind of style, a little skaterish and he's 6'10 so it's a little, he used to wear the skinny jeans a little bit so it's a little weird but he thinks he has the greatest style out of anyone on the team by far and it's, I, I, I don't know, we kind of, I don't want to break his heart but it's, he doesn't, it's just, it's, He's in his own little world, basically. Douglas is also a huge fan of the Indianapolis Colts and could have a bit of a problem a week from Saturday. If the Colts win this week, they'll be playing their second round playoff game right when the Wolverines will be pulling into Assembly Hall to take on Indiana. I mean, Coach Meyer, uh, big, big, huge Colts fan. He, we always talk during the games and he always gives me updates. Um, so he might be able to sneak an update here or there. I know Adler, one of our managers, is a huge football fan, so he might be able to sneak me a score here uh, while I'm sitting on the bench at halftime. Is that going to impact you? I mean, will you play better if you hear the Colts win? <laughs> it, it might take some stress off, but uh, no, I won't be worried about it. For Inside Michigan Basketball, I'm Doug Karsh.